there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. This is your weather video for Wednesday morning, December 30th, 2020. I'm Scott Martin, once again sitting in for the vacationing James Span. Wednesday will be the calm before the storms as Mother Nature plans to fire off some of her fireworks on New Year's. After that, we enter a little stretch of nice and dry weather. We'll get to that in just a moment. Starting off with the infrared satellite view this morning, we see that much of central Alabama has clear skies at the moment, but a few clouds are over the northwestern parts of the area, along with some clouds over the southeastern parts. Temperatures across the area as of the 4 a.m. roundup were in the mid-30s to the mid-50s. Pell City was the cold spot at 34 degrees, while Troy was the warm spot at 55 degrees. Birmingham was sitting at 50 degrees. Currently, there are no watches, warnings, or advisories in effect for any location in central Alabama, and it should stay that way throughout the day as no severe weather is expected. As a matter of fact, no thunderstorms are even expected today. That will be a different story on your New Year's Eve. Projected rainfall amounts for the next seven days look to be around 1 to 2 inches across the area, with all of that coming on Thursday and Friday. Now let's dive into the models as we'll start off with the 060 run of the GFS valid today at 3 p.m. We will be in the warm air advection today out ahead of the cold front and the developing surface load that will be getting its act together and will eventually move into central Alabama to end 2020 and to start off the new year. For today, we'll start off with some sunshine, but clouds will start to build and we'll end up with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. New Year's Eve will actually start off dry during the morning hours, but scattered showers will begin to build throughout the late morning and into the afternoon. For now, the heavier rain and thunderstorms will begin to move into the area from the southwest during the evening and late night hours. At that time, a few storms may become strong to severe. The latest update from the SPC has the southwestern quarter of central Alabama in a level 2 slight risk for severe storms, including locations west of a line from Reform to Brookwood to Billingsley to Fort Deposit. A level 1 marginal risk stretches outside of that and includes locations west of a line from Russellville to Falkville to Steele to Tuskegee and to Clio. For now, the timing for the potential for severe storms looks to start around 9 p.m. Thursday night and persist until at least 8 a.m. on Friday morning. Damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and a few tornadoes will be possible in those risk areas. To go along with that, pressure gradient winds may gust as high as 35 to 40 miles per hour, so a wind advisory may be issued at some point before the storms get fired up on Thursday. As I mentioned on Tuesday, this appears to be a low instability high shear event, but with these wintertime systems, it does not take that much instability to get severe storms started. There will be plenty of wind shear in place, and models are showing a good bit of helicity, so there will be the potential for some rotating updrafts. Locations in the western parts of the area will start to dry out before midday on Friday as the activity continues to march eastward, and eventually leaving the state by Friday evening. We do note that the SPC has the southeastern parts of central Alabama in a marginal risk on Friday. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s on Thursday and into the upper 60s to the lower 70s on Friday. Saturday will be a much cooler day with a mix of sun and clouds. Afternoon highs will be in the lower 50s to the lower 60s. Sunday will be even cooler as skies will be mainly sunny with highs in the upper 40s to the upper 50s. We do start a warming trend on Monday as skies will be mainly sunny with highs reaching the lower 50s to right around 60 degrees across the area from northwest to southeast. And we'll end off the forecast period with Tuesday as we'll have a few more clouds move across the area, but there will be more sun than clouds. Highs will be in the mid 50s to the lower 60s. That will do it for today's video. We're on a one a day holiday schedule for this week as James is on vacation. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. I'll have the next video out tomorrow morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.